We're going to look at uh, an artifact called posterior acoustic shadowing and specifically dirty posterior acoustic shadowing. In this case here you can see air trapped within the bladder that is creating posterior acoustic shadowing but there's some increased echogenicity behind it so this is referred to as dirty posterior acoustic shadowing. In this example here you can see on the left there's an ultrasound probe on the skin surface, uh, the ovoid structure is going to represent gas. And so very similar to um, posterior acoustic shattering, the clean shattering that you get from calcification, air is going to be highly reflective and you're going to see the outside of the gas itself. And again, similar to calcification, you get a lot of absorption going on within the gas itself and it will lead to a shadowing because of the lack of signal deep to the air itself. However, gas is very reflective, and what can happen with some of the ultrasound beam is that the beam can come down, hit off of the gas itself, bounce back onto a, another surface, such as a fascial plane, then it can go back and hit the gas again, and then come back to the probe and register as echogenic signal. So instead of getting a nice clean shadow, you can get some dirty shadowing that is caused by reflection. So going back to our example here, you can see the echogenic structure within the bladder which represents air, that you're getting reflection off of it, um, you're getting absorption as well which is causing the posterior acoustic shadowing, but you're also getting reflection from fascial planes and that's going to be leading to the dirty acoustic shadowing that you can see here. More content is being added on a weekly basis, so if you like what you see, consider subscribing to the Ultrasound Made Ultra Simple channel.